In this video, I'm going to give you 10 best transitions for free and here is the preview. What's up everybody, hope you are doing great. These transitions are completely free. You can get the download link in the description below. Must check it out and make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel for the future tutorials and free packs. So now let's see how we can use these transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro. All we have to do is simply go to effects panel and here is the quick reminder. If you don't see this effects panel right here, simply go to windows and here we have effects. Make sure it will be selected. Now go to preset and right click go to import preset select the preset file hit open and you know the best thing about these transitions these are in format of preset it means you can use these transitions in every version of adobe premiere pro even these transitions compatible with cs6 version so you don't need to worry about this so here we have 10 seamless transitions right here and here we have couple of folders right here so now let's see how we can use these transitions so all we have to do is simply create an adjustment layer and you can adjust the length of your adjustment layer according to your requirements but the recommended keyframes is almost 20. Hold shift key and move right side arrow key and here we have 10 frame. Cut your adjustment layer by press ctrl k and delete this extra layer. Now hold shift again and left arrow key twice and here we have in the mid. Now hold shift again and left arrow key twice. Here we have 10 keyframe at the left side. Just cut your adjustment layer by press ctrl k and delete this extra adjustment layer. You can also increase or decrease the length of your adjustment layer according to your transition requirements but my recommendation is 20 keyframe is really Really good for me so now simply all we have to do is just drag and drop your preset file on your adjustment layer and your transition is just ready yeah it's working really good so the one thing i want to clear here some folders contain two different files like a two preset file and some transitions contain only a single preset file keep in mind the folders that contain a single preset file you only need a one adjustment layer but the some transitions that actually contain a two different preset file you actually need a double adjustment layer and here we have bottom and top preset file so for that only we have to do is make a copy of your adjustment layer just hold alt key and make a copy of your adjustment layer now all we have to do is just drag this bottom file at the bottom adjustment layer and the top file at the top adjustment layer and there we go yeah that's working really great so you don't need to worry about it if you see a double preset file you only need to do make a copy of your adjustment layer and apply a top file at the top adjustment layer and the bottom file at the bottom adjustment layer and your transition is just ready within a few seconds so now let's try out this glow stretch all we have to do is just drag bottom file at the bottom adjustment layer and the top file at the top adjustment layer and there we go yeah, it's working really great. You can also make some basic changes if you really need to do. Only you need to do is select the adjustment layer, go to effects control and here we have all the effects that I actually applied on it. You can just make changes if you think it's a little bit harsh or a little bit you get, get a some black bars. You can make some basic changes by changing the settings right here and your transitions are working really great. You can also increase or decrease the length of your transitions by increasing or decreasing the length of adjustment layer and you're all set. So before saying good Goodbye. I just want to take a minute and tell you guys about Wondershare Filmora. Filmora is one of the best video editing software for beginner and for those who just want to start their video editing career. Filmora give you some really good feature that actually save you a lot of time. They are giving stock media option. It means you don't need to go to website to download some stock medias and photos. You can directly come here and search anything that you want. They are giving audio tracks that you can use in your videos as a background music. And here we also have titles you can use any title that you like it's really quick and really simple to use this title and here we have title category you can check it out if you need a specific title and here we have transition that's our today's video is all about they are offering some really good transitions it's just a simple way to use this transition you only need to select any transition that you really want to use just drag and drop onto your footage and you all set here we have transition categories my favorite transition is all around warp 
transitions which i really like to use so let me try one of these transitions so all we have to do is just drag and drop it between our two clips and here is the preview if you want to change the duration of your transition you can also do that just simply double click on your transition and here we have duration option you can set any duration and at the last we have some really good effects that you can use in your videos we have stickers and pre-made templates right here so all around filmora is a really good option for you if you are a beginner or you just want a basic editing i mentioned the filmora link in the description below you can try out filmora for free and yep yeah, that's all for today's video i hope you like this video if you like this video give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any question about this video please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one